Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and I am at an estate sale this morning. So it is eight o'clock, and the estate sale actually doesn't open until, or start until nine. So I'm here an hour early, and I'm already uh, in line for number 19, so that is my number. So here, around, like around here, what you do is, and it's not always this way, but uh, if you're early, you just go up, get your number, and then you can just wait in your car, and about 10 minutes before the sale starts, you can line up uh, in your number. Or you don't even have to line up. If there's a big enough yard, you just walk up whenever they call your number. Uh, the reason for numbers is sometimes the space is limited and they can only get so many people in for fire reasons, code, vi you know, code reasons, or just to make it easier to shop. So everybody's like trampling on each other. But being number 19, I think I can get in the first round. Uh, at an estate sale, every second counts. So um, I'm gonna be going through the photos to make sure I know exactly where I'm headed first so that I don't miss out on something I really wanted. Uh, but yes, they do count. So 19, number 19, I don't think I'll be in there until about 40 or 40 seconds to a minute after the first person. So that does add up and then with every person it makes it more competitive so i thought i would show you the app that i use this is called estatesales.net and it is an app that will allow you to see all the estate sales in your area so here we are with this one and there are a hundred photos so what i like to do is actually go through and look at the photos i can zoom in and really get a chance to see most everything that's there uh, granted that the photos are clear and they're not all blurry so these are actually better than a lot of the photos that I I see so I just go room by room and try to get an idea of where everything is now this looks like a den area probably to the back of the house so it looks like there's a lot of like little see the closer you get in it's hard harder to see what those things are but so some of these things I can't really get a good handle on, but, oh, here we go. Here's a close-up. So here's all those little things. We've got, like, little planters, little dog Scotty figurines. This might be a good area to go to, but I don't know if it's going to be my first area to go to. Depends on what else is there. So they're probably going to put on things like this, like, two, like two to three dollars on each one. Oh, that's, like, a little chained dog, too. But they usually price these kind of things around two to three dollars. So usually stuff like this, um, I mean, it'll sell for ten, twelve dollars. Resale, not all of it, but some of the things will. So I have to. Oh, here's a husband and wife salt and pepper shaker. I think those are the same ones that if you turn them around, it's the younger side. Those are generally pretty popular, but again, I can't see what prices are on these because they're so blurry. So, there, I mean, there's a few things here that I can resell, of course. What are we doing here? But um, it's not like there's big bucks happening there and or, you know, a good return on the money to warrant going straight to it. So, we have like little tape decks and things. A free TV, a Zenith TV. Uh... We've got a carving set with these faux, well, it's like these Bakelite handles, uh, buttons and things. don't think I'll skip that. I mean, I'm not going to skip it, but I'm not going to go to it first. Okay, the chalkware I really like. Now, I don't know what they're going to have on that. I would hope less than, I would hope like five, do, five to eight dollars for the flat of it. Um, we've got like little fake Crocs, some what looks like depression glass there, but I don't really buy much depression glass. It doesn't really sell. Some other little things up top here. So we're in the kitchen at this point. I do usually buy a lot of kitchen stuff. Looks like there's a couple little rulers here. Hard to make out. Some of those collapsible foldable rulers do well. I can sell them for like eight dollars. Usually pick them up for pretty cheap. Now this light looks Art Deco to me, and I think I can only, I think it's five bucks, or it's either five or eight, and that's not bad, but there's like a lot of paint loss. So this is in the kitchen. I think I'm going to go to the kitchen first anyway. Uh, we got some Fire King with this hand-painted stuff. Random mugs, Campbell Kids, False Graph. Uh, 
what else do we have in here? Just kind of, meh. Those are kind of cute, salt and pepper back there. The hole in the blushing apple. We've got the salt and the pepper in the grease jar. Don't, um, lunchbox, is that this, is that Flintstones? It is. Yeah, probably won't be, I mean, the stuff, I'm telling you, the stuff goes quick, so you have to think quickly. Now, this potato chip tin is fun. This flower, with the flower on it, that tin is fun. Maybe the cookie jar. Some Tupperware tumblers. I think there's like either a dollar or two on that. Oh, are they priced separately? No way. I'm not buying those. Okay. So, there's stuff here. Like, my kind of stuff. It's just all spread out. It's just kind of a little bit everywhere. Like, here's some... A knife set, that's fun. Ooh, this looks like Tupperware right here with a spinning, that looks like a spinning caddy, too. So, this is what I like to do. I like to go through and look at the photos and really get an idea of what things are there, where they are. Now, at first glance, I was like, whoa, look at all these salt and peppers, but um, there are a lot of junk ones. And that's subjective, of course, but I'm going to immediately disregard so many of them because... Of the price they're probably going to be, which is around two to three dollars at least a piece, and the amount of junk ones here. Now I do see like this looks like a frog or not a frog, a turtle. Looks like turtles with their mouths open. These are kind of fun, but there's a lot of brown ones that I'll, I'll stay away from. The birds are okay, but they're not really big sellers. Uh, watermelon, they're not really big sellers. A lot of these look like the souvenir ones you'd have picked up, and like especially when we get over here there's a lot of brown ones I generally don't buy brown like these wood things I don't buy the wood ones I buy the animal ones but they have to be cute animals and Japan animals usually like these pigs eh, I might but they're not Japan probably oh, little birds right there so okay here we are closer these cats are cute the penguin are cute back here this kitchen set. Oh, here's another view. These are kind of cute. Salt and pepper of like a tea kettle, teapot. The Santa back there is cute. This looks cute right here. It's like a fruit basket with this tufted bottom to it. Here's like a bluish colored bunny on a nest. Don't think it's particularly old. And this looks like another nest right here with a uh, Maybe a Japan nest with a bluebird and some other kind of a something. Maybe another type of bird next to him. That looks cute. I'll have to look at that. Hopefully it's still there. Okay, we don't want a lamp. We don't want a table. Okay. Okay, so we are getting closer to the start time of the sale. It's now 8.45. So in just about five minutes, I'll get out and go wait out in the front yard with my number. Um, but I really didn't need to be out there until you know that point but there is quite a lot of people here my goodness so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to record I think that it's gonna be pretty darn busy in there Tell me if you think so or no. 
$2. Love this from Micah. Okay, so I just got out of the estate sale and it was pretty crazy. <laughs> There was at least 100 people that were called into the house, and I know that because they were, you know, we're all given numbers like I showed you, and I kept hearing the numbers go higher and higher, but uh, I did get quite a few things, and I actually ran into a few, a couple subscribers, which was outstanding, and I never expected. They were like, Jeffrey? I'm like, where do I know you from? But isn't that weird? So um, one of them actually gave me an item to do a giveaway for. This will be my very first giveaway. So I will show you what she gave me. Her name is Kelly Williams, by the way. Look at this here. It's a little figurine. I love that one so much. This is Japan. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Perfect for me to give away. Uh, for sure watch the haul video because there is a ton of stuff that you never saw so with that i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe Bye bye